So I thought that blast injury was probably the same as, as any other kind of injury, that it was just trauma to the brain, whether the trauma was from an IED going off or whether the trauma was from hitting your head in a car accident, that it was probably a very common mechanistic path and that it all just led to damage to the brain in a very similar way. And I think what we see is that BLAST is probably unique and very unique to our military population. And so trying to figure that out and tease that out from other areas of traumatic brain injury I think is going to be critical for the military. In BLAST we see different patterns of injury and there may be areas of the brain that are injured more in BLAST than, than football or or car accidents and certainly I mean we've had uh, talks with the NFL and we've had discussions with them a, a day-long seminar and and after that seminar uh, it was clear to me that that our guys the, the military folks were going through things much worse than any NFL linebacker could imply on, on, on a quarterback and it depends where you are and what your position is whether you're in a vehicle outside a vehicle uh, helmet on helmet off I suppose you should have your helmet on clearly uh, but we see sort of very variable uh, damage to the brain. It's like the cerebellum, I think, is going to be the key. That's one area that people don't really look at all that much because it's a smaller section of the brain, but we're actually beginning to see damage in that area.